Hey guys, it's Sabina and welcome to my new video. Today I will redesign some of the Naruto characters, so get ready. And here we start. Number one. Her name is Harumi Tenyohime. She's from Ifagakure and she's 26 years old. What I can say that she has a very less of the tail and I really can't explain why she wears blue colors because Ifagakura is known for their brown, red and yellow colors and these are the colors that every single character in the series was wearing. So now to the creator, you need to decide if you want to keep her in the Ifagakura and change her colors or maybe to change the village. So here comes my first sketch of the redesign. First of all, I changed the hair to a little bit more original style instead of the color of Tsunade hair. Instead of this one hair in between her eyes, I made her a real pony and two bangs on the sides. I know that people want to make their designs original by doing their top just hanging on one side of the shoulder but actually it's not so much original and with her size of the breast it will not really look good or be technically a great idea. This is why I made it a little bit more symmetrical. And most important part, if you are making a character for Naruto universe, if they are a ninja, you need to put their village mark somewhere in their design. There is a war, like the second world war. Everybody is fighting with each other. Everybody is killing each other. So you need to make the village visible for other people. Also a reason so that people don't fight each other from the same village by mistake or something. Then I tried to keep her skirt somehow uh, so good as I could. I think the idea was pretty nice. Yeah, it's looking slightly different. The next part is the colors. So I kept her eye and hair color the same. And I used, of course, the colors of the Iwagakura. If you disagree, it's of course your own opinion and uh, you can still use your own design. Thank you very much for submitting your OC and I hope you like it. The next design, as you can see, has a lot of details. By the way, she's a ninja from Konohagakura and she's 16 years old. So first, for 16 years old, she's wearing a little bit too less clothes. I understand that you wanted to make her look like she's very stylish, but she looks like somebody who is getting money from standing on a street. So we will change her clothes a little bit more to her age. As you can see in my uh, sketch redesign, I kept the hair. I think the idea of covering her eyes completely is original. And I tried of course to reduce her details so much as possible so that she kind of fit to the Naruto universe because the characters that are created by Masashi Kishimoto don't contain usually a much of detail. So I made her ponytail hanging uh, from the front. So and here we have again the same style by putting her top just from the one side. As I said, it's, it's more common than people think. It's not so original. So I made her top more symmetrical and of course covering her belly because we don't want a 16 years old being almost completely naked. Then we have this one piece of fabric that is hanging from the one side and I kept it like this. Of course her village bandage on her leg. I liked it a lot too. You can put her clan symbol in the cycle down on her fabric. I didn't put the already existing one because I was thinking maybe you want to redesign this one too. And like, you can change whatever you want. And the shoes are a little bit simplified because, you know, reasons. And I tried to put a little bit, a little bit of fishnet on her feet. And I hope you like it.
here comes my colored version of it. I tried to keep the colors as they were. So it means black and purple. Also her hair stayed blonde as she was. I hope you like it. And thank you so much for submitting your character. And here we come to the design number three. This is a prize of a raffle that I made. And she wanted our design for her friend character. And I have to say it was the much difficult one because it was made with some kind of a cloth game long time ago. And as you see, the cloth game contained just the main character's outfits and it's the only one way to make your own outfit that is actually not original then anymore. And also the colors are very oversaturated. So they said I should just um, throw the whole design away and I can do a completely new character. So I did it. So this is my sketch of the red design. And I have to say I actually liked the hair. I changed it a little bit, but the two buns were a pretty nice idea. Then I made the hair a little bit shorter, of course. I think so it fits much better. Like in the description it's written that she's assassin and a shinobi. And I have to say if you want to make an assassin, these are people who are killing for money. They don't talk, they just come from the dark, from behind you and just uh, cut your throat. This is why they, what they do and if you want to make a character that is really an assassin, you need to choose other colors like black. So then let's go with the description of Shinobi. And I also like kind of uh, this mount cover. You can see that many characters have it. And they are all inspired by Kakashi, who is covering half of his uh, face. But I think to still cover your face, but put something completely different that is um, also very significant for your OC. It's very nice idea. So I put the shawl with this um, village mark in the front, you know, to make it more original. And the rest uh, I got inspired by some kind of assassin clothes because they have to be able to move a lot in like in every position. So I made her like a body suit with covered hands and very long shoes. Then I put this kind of, um, of fabric around her waist and you can give it even a function. Let's say if she kidnaps somebody, he, she can cover his head with it. Why not? Because clouds should be some kind of uh, functional too. So here I concentrate just on the function of, of being a ninja. And here we come to the colored version. I of course didn't use the oversaturated pink, but I was thinking, okay, let's make her look maybe a little bit feminine. So I used this, um, this lavender color and there is of course black or very dark. So she can merge in the dark with the darkness. I hope you liked all my red designs and if you don't think so or you have a better idea just write me in the comments I would like to know and if you want a red design uh, for your own character it doesn't have to be from the Naruto universe write me on my DeviantArt account I have dot a journal for looking for OCs please comment it there and let's see you in the next part <laughs>